Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. RHOBH Kim Richards placed on 5150 psych hold, Kyle terrified. RHOBH OG Kim Richards was placed on a psychiatric hold and now, her family is terrified for her survival. She has been in rehab before for alcohol as she admits she is an alcoholic. This has even played out in the early years of Beverly Hills. Now things have escalated but what exactly happened to lead to this? Keep reading for all of the details. Kim Richards placed on 5150 Psych Hold. For the first few seasons of RHOBH, Kim Richards was struggling with alcohol addiction. Her sister Kyle Richards was very worried about her. She even noted that she was scared to get the phone call that Kim had passed away. In season one, the sisters duped it out in a limo over Kyle stealing Kim's house. That was when Kyle flat out called her sister an alcoholic. She has been to rehab several times and seemed to see the light when she became a grandmother. In season seven, Lisa Rinna told Eden Sassoon that Kim was near death. More so, they played it out as if Kyle was her sister's enabler. There were times when the sisters did not speak and that was very rough, especially given Kim's past. Unfortunately, things have only gotten worse for Kim, according to TMZ. She was placed on a 5150 hold in early September. This happened after she was at the L.A. Hilton Hotel, as was Kyle. Authorities were called as Kim was incoherent and upon their arrival, they asked her to leave, which she declined to do. That was when she was placed on the hold and taken to the hospital. Kim Richards has since been released but the trouble did not stop. She has been staying at one of Kyle's homes in L.A. but authorities were called by the neighbors asking for her to be removed. Kim had allegedly been a problem before and it seemed they did not want to deal with her. She was not supposed to even be at the house as her sister allowed her to live there. Then she left but popped up on Wednesday, September 25th. Kyle is in crisis mode. For Kyle Richards, it has only gotten worse. Authorities shared that Kyle did let Kim Richards move back into the Dai home a while back. However, she and the family allegedly no longer wanted her there because cutting her off was the only way they knew how to help her. Now Kyle must serve Kim with a proper eviction notice to get her out of the home as she is still in the house as of press time. Fans were shocked that Kim had made it this far after all she had put her body through. Amazing her little body has not given out yet. So many of us love these sisters beyond. Lifting them up so much during this time, prayers for Kim. She is my favorite out of the three sisters. It was a sunny afternoon in Beverly Hills, the kind of day where the golden rays lit up the mansions nestled in the hills like jewels on a crown. The streets were quiet, seemingly immune to the noise of the world, but behind the gilded gates of fame and fortune, a storm was brewing. The world of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, RHOBH, had always been a whirlwind of drama, opulence, and the occasional catfight, but this time the stakes were higher. Much higher. At the center of the storm was none other than Kim Richards, the beloved yet troubled former child star who had long danced on the precipice of chaos. Kim had always been a wild card, her unpredictable nature a source of both fascination and concern for her fans, as well as her family. Over the years, her struggles with addiction, mental health, and family dynamics had been laid bare on RHOBH, drawing both sympathy and criticism from viewers. But in the past few months, her erratic behavior had escalated to new heights, culminating in an event that shocked even the most seasoned housewives aficionados. Word spread like wildfire. Kim Richards had been placed on a 5150 psychiatric hold. For those unfamiliar with the term, a 5150 hold is a legal code in California that allows for involuntary hospitalization of individuals deemed a danger to themselves or others due to mental illness. It's a drastic measure, reserved for only the most extreme cases, and it sent shockwaves through the RHOBH community. Kyle Richards, Kim's younger sister and fellow RHOBH star, was devastated. She had always been fiercely protective of Kim, even when their relationship was fraught with tension and unresolved pain. Over the years their bond had been tested time and again, with Kyle often playing the role of both sister and surrogate mother to Kim, whose unpredictable behavior kept everyone on edge. But this? This was something Kyle had feared for a long time, and now it had become a heartbreaking reality. Kyle had received the news in the middle of the night. 
her phone vibrating on the marble nightstand beside her bed. The voice on the other end was calm but urgent. Kim had been found wandering the streets, disoriented and confused. She had been picked up by the authorities after a concerned passerby had called in, reporting a woman in distress. The details were hazy, but one thing was clear. Kim was not in a good state. She had been taken to the hospital, and after an evaluation by a mental health professional, the decision was made to place her under a 5150 hold. For Kyle, the news was both terrifying and tragically familiar. This wasn't the first time she had worried about Kim's mental state. Over the years there had been countless late-night phone calls, frantic interventions, and tense family meetings where the Richard sisters had tried to find a way to help Kim. But every time it seemed like they were making progress, Kim would slip back into old habits, her demons pulling her under once more. Kyle's heart ached as she thought about the years of struggle, the moments of hope that had been dashed by relapse and relapse again. As the news of Kim's 5150 hold spread, that RHOB cast and fans alike were left reeling. Lisa Vanderpump, once a close friend of Kyle's but now estranged from the Richards family, expressed her concern in a rare statement. I've always had a soft spot for Kim. It's heartbreaking to hear she's in such a state. I hope she gets the help she needs, Lisa said, her usual sharp wit softened by genuine worry. Other cast members, like Erica Jane and Dorit Kemsley, shared their thoughts on social media, with messages of support flooding in from fans across the globe. But beneath the well wishes and public displays of concern, there was an undercurrent of fear. How would this affect the already fragile dynamic of RHOBH? Would Kyle be able to continue filming while dealing with such a personal crisis? And most importantly, what would happen to Kim? For Kyle, the next few days were a blur of hospital visits, consultations with doctors, and tense conversations with her family. The cameras weren't rolling, but the drama was more real than anything that had ever been captured on RHOBH. As Kyle sat in the hospital waiting room, her hands trembling with anxiety, she couldn't help but reflect on the years of tension between her and Kim. Their relationship had always been complicated, shaped by the pressures of fame and the shadows of their childhood. Kim had been the golden child, the starlet who had captured America's heart with her roles in classic films like Escape to Witch Mountain. But as the years passed, Kim's star had faded and she had struggled to find her footing in a world that no longer adored her. Kyle, on the other hand, had carved out a successful career and a stable family life, but the guilt of Kim's downward spiral had always weighed heavily on her. Now, as Kim lay in a hospital bed under the watchful eyes of doctors and nurses, Kyle felt a deep sense of helplessness. She'd had tried everything, therapy, rehab, tough love, but nothing seemed to stick. The 5150 hold was a last resort, a desperate measure to protect Kim from herself. But would it be enough? As the hours passed, Kyle found herself replaying their most recent conversations in her mind. Kim had been erratic, her speech slurred, her thoughts disjointed. She had spoken of feeling trapped, of being overwhelmed by the pressures of life. I'm not okay, Kyle, she had said, her voice cracking with emotion. I don't know how to fix it. Kyle had tried to reassure her. But deep down, she had known that Kim was slipping away. The signs had been there for weeks. The missed calls, the cryptic text messages, the canceled plans. Kyle had wanted to believe that Kim was just going through a rough patch, that things would get better. But now, sitting in the sterile hospital room, she realized just how serious things had become. The thought of losing her sister was unbearable. Despite all the ups and downs, the fights and reconciliations, Kyle loved Kim with all her heart. They had been through so much together, and the idea of life without Kim was unimaginable. But as the doctors explained the next steps, the possibility of extended treatment, the potential for long-term care— Kyle was forced to confront the reality that Kim might never fully recover. The future was uncertain, and as the days passed, the media frenzy surrounding Kim's 5150 hold only intensified. Paparazzi camped outside the hospital, eager for a glimpse of the troubled star, while tabloids churned out sensational headlines about her condition. But for Kyle, none of that mattered. All she cared about was getting her sister the help she so desperately needed. As the sun set over Beverly Hills, casting a golden glow over the city, Kyle made a silent vow. No matter what it took, she would stand by Kim's side.